Mwenyekiti wa bodi ya wakurugenzi wa kampuni ya sukari Kirombero Sugar, Balozi Ame Mpungu amesema, uamuzi wa uwekezaji kampuni ya Uingereza Associate British Sugar kuja kuwekeza nchini Tanzania ni kielezo sahihi cha imani walionayo katika mazingira ya uwekezaji huku akiiomba serikali na taasisi usika kuendelea kuboresha mazingira ya uwekezaji hasa katika uzalishaji wa sukari nchini. Kwa rais kwa shawishi wa uwekezaji kukubali ku, kuamua uwekezaji huu ni uwekezaji mkubwa sana. Kwa kampuni yao nadhani huu ni kwa ukubwa huu ni uwekezaji mkubwa wa pili ambao wameweza kufanya. Kwa hiyo uamuzi wa kuja kuwekeza hapa ni kielelezo sahihi kabisa cha imani waliokuwa nayo katika hali na mazingira ya uwekezaji hapa Tanzania na kwa hasa katika uh, ukuzaji wa, wa uzalishaji wa sukari. Nadhani uh, tunaweza kuweza kukifanya kama wa Tanzania kama serikali na wananchi ndi kuendelea kuimarisha mazingira mazuri ya uwekezaji kwa ujumla lakini hasa kwa upande wa, wa sukari na tatizo kubwa kwa miaka mingi limekuwa uingizaji wa sukari holela na mafanikio ya uwekezaji huu yatapatikana tu iwapo pale tunaweza kulinda soko vizuri na kuwezesha uwekezaji wa ndani waweze kupanua uwekezaji wao waweze kuzalisha na sukari ya kutosha kwa mahitaji yetu na hata pia kuuza nchi za jirani na nchi za nje kwa hiyo Uh, na omba sana wadau wote kwa serikali na wananchi na taasisi zote zinazohusika na uwekezaji kutupa msaada na na support ya kutosha ili uwekezaji huu ufanikiwe kwa wakati uliopangwa na kwa gharama zilizopangwa Aidha kampuni ya sukari ya Kirombero imesema ndoto ya serikali ni kuhakikisha upatikanaji wa uhakika wa sukari nchini inaelekea kutimia kutokana na uwekezaji huo mkubwa unaofanywa na kampuni hiyo kupitia wawekezaji hao huku mkurugenzi mtendaji wa kampuni ya sukari Kilombero Guy Williams akieleza Nini maoni yako kuhusiana na mradi huu? Asante Ephraim. Inafanyika. We have been talking, we have been planning for five years and today inafanyika. It is happening. Um, The dream of the government to be self-sufficient in sugar became our dream to try and make it happen and today we are celebrating the beginning of our 238 million dollar project the second largest in the ABF group of a, as a single project shows the serious commitment that our shareholders are making to Kilimanjaro to Tanzania and to making sure that sugar eaten by Tanzanians is made in Tanzania. Um, that's all I can say. It has begun. Uh, Kazi endele. Ladies and gentlemen, and now we come to our board chairman, Ambassador Amin Pungwe, who made a lot of effort to reassure our investors that definitely Tanzania is the destination required for this type of an investment. Over to you, Ambassador. Asante sana, Ephraim. It is fantastic to be back in Africa at all but particularly in Tanzania after a three year gap that covid has has, has caused um i think um seeing this site today i think three things uh strike me first is the size of it it really is an immense uh project we're moving tens of thousands of tons of earth we're importing tens of thousands of tons of uh, aggregate to make roads and to Uh, and, to, and, and to level and give ourselves the, uh, the um, strength of foundations that we need. The second thing to say is it's great to see so much work underway uh, here, a lot of piling uh, going on, um, a lot that doesn't uh, really reflect. You don't, you don't see much, but you see a lot of ac activity. It all has to be done. It all has to be done well. Uh, it also, and this is my third point, it has to be done, I think, before the rains come because the water table is so high here that uh, even in the dry season, uh, there are difficulties that have been caused in some of the ground preparation by, by water. So I have inevitably a, a fear in my head that we won't get everything done that we need to get done uh, during the dry season. So uh, it's good to see the level of work, but I'm aware of just how much there is Uh, to be done now really in the next just couple of months. Um, 
The last thing, though, is, is just to express my enthusiasm, my excitement about it. The scale of, of this um, is huge. This was going to be a very major asset uh, for ABF, for Kilimbero Sugar, um, and I hope also for um, the local growers and everyone in Tanzania. It's a site that we're building not for the next five years, but the next 55 years. I look across at the old K1 mill, which this will replace and supplement. It's been going for 60 years. Uh, we're building for the long term uh, for all the different stakeholders. And it's fantastic just to be um, associated with it. Look, it's, it's with great excitement that I see this project underway. Um, and really seeing it started just doesn't uh, demonstrate the, the quantity of work that's gone into making it a reality. So I'm delighted to see the project underway. And a huge number of people have spent many years planning this, and now it's becoming a reality, so really great to see. As George said, it's a major excavation, it's a massive site, uh, it's a major step forward for Kilimbero Sugar, which I'm delighted to see. Um, but there's going to be many months of hard work still to do, um, and I'm hoping that uh, we can deliver, as George says, before the rains, we can get the foundations done before the rains, and then we can start seeing the mechanical erection uh, really get underway in earnest. I know that there's a lot of off-site engineering being done, I know that a lot of the equipment is already in containers and en route, um, and as the months move on we'll see that, uh, that reality come to make us a very good sugar plant of that, I'm sure. Baada ya kuwasikiliza viongozi wetu wakuu kutoka London Uingereza na sasa tunarudi hapa nchini Tanzania kuwasikiliza wanaotekeleza mradi huu. Naomba kwanza tuanze na mkurugenzi mkuu bwana Guy Williams. Mateso nimepigwa faini sababu ya bima kuisha. Huku nikumbusha lazima unirudishie faini. Pole, ila nilikukumbusha kwa SMS. Itakuwa network yako mbovu. Una nilaumu bure. Wewe Mateso, kitambi chako hakiishii hivi singizio. Uzembe wako isiwe kero kwangu. Nahitaji bima sasa hivi. Jioni hii niko mbali. Inaweza kuwa ngumu au tufanye kesho. Ah mama, tusimsubiri atatuchelesha. Acha nikunulie bima sasa hivi kwenye WhatsApp tuondoke. Kwenye WhatsApp hii? Yes. Sunala kwenye simu. Ndio za kutosha. He? Inaniambia niweke namba ya siri. Salome, una uhakika niendelee? Endelea. Tumia bima pub kwa kupiga nyota 150 nyota 51 alama ya reli au kwa WhatsApp 0764166066 ujipatie bima. Kweli penye nia kuna njia. Nimeipata bima inasomeka halali. Kwa ujanja huu sijeka umechukua pesa zangu mama jamani kuna shida mwanao kufurahia raha yako kidogo <laughs> bima pub urahisi wa maisha